Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome back to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can restrict URLs in function based view. And in last video, we have seen that how we can restrict URLs using class based view. So in class based view, we have used mixings. Okay. So in function based view, we are going to use decorators. So first we will import them. So from Django dot contrib dot auth dot decorators import login required so i will just zoom a bit so you can read it a little bit better okay now i am going to restrict only one function because uh, we are going to use class based view throughout the tutorial and i don't want to mess up okay so I will just comment this class for now. I'm commenting this. Okay. And I will uncomment this profile class. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now I will go ahead and just copy this URL below. Okay. Now I will comment this first one and I will remove this as view because we are not using class based view for this profile okay now here we need to do only one thing just above above this function we need to write require sorry login underscore require and here in parameters we will pass login underscore url which will be login only so this will come from here this login one i'll copy this and paste it over here so i will tell you the difference okay in class based view we added uh, login required mixing at the very top of this uh, sorry at the very first place of this parameter and in function based view we are adding the login underscore required decorator just above the function of the profile okay the function which we want to restrict actually so we have added this just the top of this function because we want to restrict this function now in that we have passed login underscore url to redirect that user if the user tackles the profile without logging logging in okay as we have added here so here we have added in the class and here we have added just in decorator itself okay now i will just open my command prompt i will clear the terminal and i will activate it uh, sorry i will activate my virtual environment and i will write python manage.py run server i hope it will not give me any error okay now i am not logged in so i will try to access the user profile url so it is authors sorry authors slash user slash the username okay in our case it will be 100 so you can see we have redirected to login page okay now here i will say un admin 100 if you remember we have updated the username yesterday okay so i will give my password oops why i'm not able to log in admin 100 okay i am logged in now if i try to access the url of the user then i would be able to access it yep i am able to access okay so yeah this is it for this video in next video we are going to see that how we can actually upload the blog okay how the user can log in and upload the blog okay so i will see you in next one and yes i will just you know comment this blog again 
and I will uncomment this block of the code and I will go to URLs and I will comment this URL and I will just uncomment the URL which is using class based view okay I will refresh over here anything is not changed so everything is working successfully so if you have any doubt please comment down below and I will see you next one thank you guys Thank <laughs> you.